Mastering Online Interactions, Understanding, Block and Report. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's lesson. We'll be diving into the digital world to understand a crucial aspect of online communication, what it means to block and report someone. This concept is not just about protecting your space online, but also about ensuring a safe and respectful environment for everyone. So, whether you're chatting, gaming, or just browsing, knowing how to block and report can make your online experience much more pleasant. When you block someone online, you're essentially putting up a digital barrier between you and that person. This means, one, they can no longer see your posts or updates. Two, they cannot contact you through direct messages. Three, in some platforms, they might not even be able to see your profile at all. Blocking is a powerful tool to protect your privacy and peace of mind. It's like saying, I choose not to interact with this person anymore. While blocking stops the interaction, reporting is about taking it a step further. When you report someone, you're flagging their behavior to the platform's moderators or administrators. This can be for various reasons like harassment or bullying, posting inappropriate or offensive content, spamming or fraudulent activities. By reporting, you're not just protecting yourself, but also helping maintain the platform's standards and safety for others. It's your way of saying, this behavior is not okay. It's essential to know when and how to use these features effectively. Here are some guidelines. 1. Block if someone is consistently bothering you, and you wish to cut off all interactions. 2. Report if you encounter content or behavior that violates the platform's rules and could harm others. Remember, each platform has its own process for blocking and reporting, so it's worth familiarizing yourself with these procedures. Understanding how to block and report is key to maintaining a healthy online environment. It empowers you to take control of your interactions and ensures that digital platforms remain spaces of positive and respectful engagement. So, next time you face an unpleasant situation online, remember you have the tools to deal with it effectively. Thank you for joining today's lesson, and I hope you now feel more confident navigating your online world. Stay safe and respectful, and see you in the next video.